want to do some commissions in the meantime. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Or refiner. We're actually out of manure. Interesting. Okay. Start producing some steel. I would need to move some things around before I go to bed. Hopefully I have enough time. Cast iron pipes. Yep, I need pipes and I need rods. So all I need is one. Pipes. And then the rods will probably take the longest. But I can only produce two right now. So hopefully by the time I wake up, they'll be good to go. Pick that up. How do I place put down? Pick up put down pick up down. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go to the construction junction, watch your function. And uh, move our barn a little. Now that we have more room. I do have to say it's a little janky at times trying to move these things. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to scoot the barn a little. And the uh, production table. Those will take a forever. So while they're taking forever, I'm going to sleep. Maybe I should have, like, saved my thing. Uh, sandstorm. Good thing I have that wall. Hold the door. Hold the door. Hmm. Yeah, let's start making some... Let's start making some meds. Cast iron. Okay, that was about to say. <laughs> so all I need is ten more cast iron rods. Oh, oh, oh. shit! This is gonna take forever. <clears throat> yeah, the, making those ladders are apparently gonna take a while because they need some insane amount of work done. Oh, it looks like the yak mills kind of sleep a bit. Oh yeah, I need to get more potatoes. Sorry, little buds. I'll get you some food. How are your... You're probably not super duper happy. I uh, need to switch my headgear real quickly so I can start walking out there and not be slowed down. Oh yeah, I need to go to Graveyard Keeper anyway to finish his little thing. 
So while I do this, get some more potatoes. So I can feed my yak mail. See if I can talk to the old man one last time. Or at least for now. Get that there. Her taters. And he has 20 of them right now. Hell yeah, brother. I should probably sell him my produce too. Probably wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. See if we can uh, find the old man. Ah. <laughs> Easy peasy now. Okay, he's being smart. Stay inside his house. There he is. Oh, yes. Yes, these were the good old days. We were so full of hope then. We used to write messages in the sand with straw. If you stuck them in there with a shovel, they'd stay there for a long, long time. Hmm, but this photo, it was quite a while after we started doing that. Ah, yes. It all started when I found that old I thought fate was giving us another chance. From the ruins of the old world that impoverished us, we found a book. One that detailed all sorts of agricultural techniques. Advanced concepts that included even terraforming the desert. The methods in the book seemed out of our grasp, however. Until uh, I noticed that the message I used to write in the sand with straw were, if I made them into a square, they could protect plants inside it from the blowing sands. And so began the straw grid. I began digging thousands of squares across the desert, sowing stubborn plants in each of them, ones I knew could survive. As the plants grew, the straw became like fertilizer. After a few cycles, sand turned back into soil again. Zeke might have told you something about those days, hmm? We were all building the straw grid. And for a while there, we thought we were going to put a dent into the sandstorms. But the desert was too strong. We were like droplets of water fighting against an unfeeling ocean. No matter what we did, the winds kept blowing, and our oasis got smaller and smaller. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry that regaling such a pleasant memory took a rather dark turn. Please, stop by if you find any more of my photos. I think we're all good, dude. I, I mean, unless you do have more? But it, I don't know, the achievement said otherwise. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. There's not much else I can do. I think we've completed that task. Just while I'm waiting on those cast iron rods to be built, I can take on some more commissions so I can stay on top. It's always good to stay on top of things. We check the uh, standings real quickly. Pretty sure I'm still number one because of that massive freaking uh, quest I, uh, commission I did. We're, we'll double check. Madam oh, Katori, when you work with the Commerce Guild of Sandrock, you're working with a name you can trust. Our motto is truth, honesty, integrity, and, uh... Ah, what a coincidence! If it isn't the hardest working builder in Sandrock, lovely Katori, if you please, allow my subordinate to make your acquaintance. Bridges, hydrogels, jerky, our star builder does it all! We're acquainted. Er, uh, yes, I believe I'm familiar. 
Yes, yes. Builder and Mian were total newbies when they first came to Sandrock. But under my wing, they've flourished into old bees. Ha! Top workshop owners, known even across the free cities. No matter the size or difficulty of your project, I'm boastfully confident my brilliant builders won't bungle it. You tell them yourself, Builder. Better than this guy here. <laughs> so modest. Builder, they're far better than okay. Pretty okay, one might even say. Of course, uh, like I was saying, I'm familiar with the quality of their work. Happy to have them. Uh, uh let's, uh, get back on topic. Yes, a true businesswoman you are. Back to the heart of the matter. And may I say, it's really an honor for our guild to receive such a striking commission from such a striking client. Sir, calm down. Uh, well, the short of it is, I'm planning on expanding the Golden Goose Gaming Extravel Plaza. Right now, we only have like two games. Who would want to come to Sandrock just to visit a dinky shack like what I got now? Now, now, don't say that. Your game center is known across the land already for its, um, uh, splendid, uh, woodiness. That's not saying much. Yeah, it is rather, uh, well, it's fine. But the competition out there is vicious. We can't get left behind. That's why we gotta expand, renovate, start paving the way towards the future. Oh, yes, future. <laughs> You've got to have that. Let's talk specifics, then. What exactly are you hoping to have built in this expansion project? Well, I'm going to need a new storefront, a new sign, start a catalog of new games. Oh, boy, that uh, sounds like a big project. <laughs> My, what big dreams you have for your extra-blazer uh, thing. Before I forget, perhaps we ought to first discuss one teeny tiny minor inconvenient little detail. Um, how exactly will you be paying for all this? Oh, yeah. Well, I figured since this was such a sure thing, I could just promise you guys a portion of the profits once they roll in. It'll- Um, oh, Oops. so, uh, what you're saying is- You're invested. You don't have the money for the project. Uh, well, in a matter of speaking, I guess you could say I don't. Hey, if Yan doesn't pick it up, I will, because I don't mind investing in businesses. It's like one of the things I want to do in real life is to be an, an angel investor at some point in time. So that would be nice. It would help smaller businesses, like, get up, you know, get up on their feet and start paving the way for themselves. Uh-huh. Goodness me! Well, I really hate to cut things short, but I really do have a lot of things on my plate right now. But, uh, don't worry. We can continue this conversation through the mail. <laughs> uh, don't mail me. I'll mail you. I... He's such a shitbag. I was supposed to have my reports on their way to the Free Cities Commerce Guild ten minutes ago. Ah, time sure does fly when you're, uh, wasting time. Well, goodbye now. Go on, Scooch. But I, uh, I'll earnestly await your correspondence, Commissioner Yan. Goodbye. Oh, come on, dude. All right, all right. Fun's over. You can get back to your workshop now, newbie. Oh, and pick up a commission on your way back for your old buddy, old chum Yan. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> no! If you learn one thing from me, newbie, learn this. Never, and I mean never, take a job if you don't know where the money's coming from. <laughs> I'll pay you after I succeed and you do all the work. <laughs> yeah, right! Uh, I needed a good laugh. Well, what are you still doing here? I said the show's over. Get back Watch. to work. Go, go, go! I'll do this commission for her, and we're gonna rake in so much fucking money that Yanza, like, oh, I did all this for you. Wonder if I can actually help her out. Wait, I was here to check on rankings. How the hell is he getting points? <laughs> this is unacceptable. 
I don't know how Yan is getting hey, commission points. <clears throat> hey, uh, so it looks like your boss isn't too keen on helping me out, but I just can't get this idea out of my head. This game center upgrade is just the first step in a long line of ideas I've got. The culmination of which will result in... Katori World! Oh, she wants to make a, a Disney World kind of thing going on? Katori World. Your one-stop shop for everything entertainment! Game center? Museum? Maybe we can even get a ride or something! But I'll never arrive at my dream destination if I can't even take the first step! Come on! I saw your expression at the meeting. You've gotta be at least a little bit interested! Aha! I had a feeling you'd have the right idea. Great minds think alike, as they say. Plus, just listen to it. Really rolls off the tongue. Katori World! Because it's no different than Disneyland. It's named after the creator of, well, Disney. <laughs> Katori World. What I need now is people who believe in me. Uh, people who believe in me and also have money. I'm having a meeting to share my plans with some potential investors. Okay. If I secure the funding, I'll plow forward with Katori World. Then, once the profits start rolling in, everyone who invested will get their money back and then some. So, yeah. Would you be willing to come to my investor meeting? Sure. The only thing I'll be wasting is time if in case this note doesn't go out so well. That's great to hear. Having you there will have me twice as confident. Well, I've gone on too long already. 2 p.m. tomorrow. My 2 office, p.m. tomorrow. The first ever Katori World Investor Meeting. Come on, you gotta make it. I'd better get back to the drawing board. Can still make a few last minute touch ups. Hope to catch you tomorrow. Okay. So until then, I guess we'll do some other stuff. Still waiting on those cast irons. Yeah, I have a feeling I just need to keep making sure that it's staying on board. Oh yeah, we got the potatoes. There you guys go, you got food. Yeah, it seems like they kind of sleep when uh, there's a sandstorm going, which is nice. Matt, I'm kind of wondering, if he didn't have these walls and he had, like, Yakmel, would they, get, would they get enraged? I have a feeling they would. Uh-oh, there's a cell going on. There's always a cell going on. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it looks like someone's out in the backyard doing their thing. Let's just keep adding to the workload. Okay, so. Since we have that Katori world thing going. Which is not on my list of things to do, but I just need to remember. It'll probably be a little reminder. I think. Yes. Yeah, there will be a reminder. I'll just. Nah. Well, actually, let's see. Nah. I think it automatically has a reminder. Okay. Oh yeah, while I was gonna wait, might as well just keep up on these commissions. 110. Let's do this 110 one. Iron sh sword and shield. Which will eat into my iron supplies, so maybe not. Cast iron nails. Stone slates. Switchboard. That might 
eat up environment. Yeah, let's do this. Ugh, wish now that I think about it, it didn't matter which one I picked up. Ba -da -ba. So I don't think I can make, yeah, I can't make those and then that. That's why I need to upgrade my stuff so I can start. Which, let's see. All I need is five of those. So technically what I could probably do is have those being produced. Since that one's a higher priority. the rest of the day off. How are you? Well, hello there. I just wanted to thank you again for helping me find those photos. Losing them made me realize those memories are everything to me. Now, my new album is nearly half full. Oh. I can't help but wonder, will we really find them all? So it's only halfway there. Okay, so I was like one of two. There was also a letter tucked away in the old one. Hmm, never mind about that. If you see any more of those photos, please do let me know. Well, I'm sure you're very busy. <laughs> my, your workshop is flourishing. Uh-huh. You really are something. It is quite big. Lots of stuff doing right now. Uh, let's pet the Yakmals. Make sure they're all happy and have lots of gusto. Oh, I didn't clean their poop in a bit. This is already produced four of them. Yes, plenty of yak milk milk in the hell. Okay. Man, that yak milk's still grown. Still be grown, I see. Alright, that's good. Let's keep producing more of that steel. And let's turn that in. Get her done! Hugo! Thank you. No problem. Boom, boom. I have so much, like, freaking, uh, what do you call it to sell? Paper. Got so much paper to sell. How much do I have in that? I got 38, 150. <coughs> I'm trying to figure out what, how much ac excess do I have. I think it's just a stone. Just trying to get rid of excess materials and transform them in the other things Yeah, 
Yeah, let's see what I need to do in order to upgrade this again. So bronze pipe, bloodstone core. Let's try and make some bloodstone cores. Bloodstone core. Let's make two of those. And then I need bronze sticks and bronze pipe. Two bronze sticks and a bronze pipe. Bronze pipe, two bronze sticks. There we go. Okay, okay. So once those are done, should have plenty of uh, plenty of time to like grab some other things. I think until then, while I'm waiting on that stuff to be produced, we'll see if there's any surprise cleaning I need to do. It's like that sandstorm didn't really do much since I have those walls. Yeah, never know though. Oh, it's standing on it. Go. That's a cleaner. That's a cleaner. That's a cleaner. That's a clean. I don't know if I need to dust the barn. Pretty sure I don't. There we go. Uh, I think I hear either plants growing or they're finished. Right, the bronze pipe is done. Oh, yeah, I guess those plants are done. Alrighty then. So let's see. Harvest Zerabsberries. These are not done. Yeah, it looks like a lot of them are not going to be quite done yet. Oh shit, <laughs> I didn't notice that until now. Yeah, I forgot our grid system's quite different. <laughs> Do that. Alright, looks like I need to cannibalize some water. And probably, uh, do some other stuff. That'd be cool. Oh my god. It did oh I didn't water that though. So I, I still don't know how the watering system really works. Oh no, not commission. Oh, I need to see some uh sand building up there. Oh yeah, speaking of. Probably has some dirt underneath it too. 